closes behind the teeth, sealing off the digestive system so it de digs with its teeth but does not swallow any dirt. And of course, the most spectacular of all is the mole rat, the Afghan or Quetta mole rat, as it was once called, known from very few specimens, not having been collected in a, over 100 years, really, in Pakistan, never photographed adequately. So we were able to collect it, photograph it, follow up on the earlier film footage to really pinpoint where it is found, find out something about its natural history, uh, confirm when it breeds, how many babies it has, how deep its burrows are, how it goes about living in this very difficult and austere uh, climate, which is very cold or very hot. So we're very pleased. The numbers of these animals are very substantial. It's not just we're finding one or two. For example, the Afghan mole rat is extremely abundant in this valley. We didn't just uncumber a little population right along the edge. We discovered a, a very large, thriving population of these unusual animals. So Torgar is a good bet for a long-term conservation project. Fresh looking. The Afghan mole rat, you can see the soil is perfect, very easily dug in, very sandy, cool and moist. Ah, good. So we'll put one.